back down into the 60s. So the system that you were talking about, Steph, that comes into California also affects us in the four corners, including Arizona. Ah, good news. All right, it's time now for a viewer question sent in from Ed Richards from Brooklyn, Georgia. He said, last night I heard Jim Cantore mention Titan One, and I pass it off because he says a lot of things that I don't recognize, which we think is funny. <laughs> this morning I heard Heather Tesh say Titan One. I associate the term Titan One with an ICBM from the Cold War era. Please explain. Well, first of all, I want to give props to our director. You'll never hear us say Titan One or Titan Two or Titan Three because our director, Rob, he rocks and he can kind of sense. Uh, you're welcome, Rob. He can sense when we want to take our different sources and that's what they are. They're different computers. Titan One is a computer that we right. use to show you your graphics and this little remote can change all of our different sources. All right, Rob's going to punch up Titan 1 so we can show you what's on Titan 1. One of the things we can put on Titan is we can show you the flu, flu, flu report. Uh, we got another Titan, so this is Titan 1. We got like a Titan 2. How all about right, Titan, Titan 2? Two. Two. He's going to take Titan 2. There we go. We have the Southeast uh, satellite and radar picture. And how many Titans do we even have? I'm not even sure, like 7, Titan 5, eight. 6, or 7. We have Titan 5. Right. Jessica, our weather producer, producer, is always manning Titan 5 because she's always watching what's going on and there. There's on. a look at what's on Titan 5, and it's snowy and there's here. There's Jessica. See, there's Jessica. Jessica wave to your Titan 5. Oh, Titan 5. She's the woman behind the curtain, as uh, I call her, like in the Oz. And Jess, you have lots of computers there. Uh, maybe you can show people a little bit of what you do back there. Um, yeah, I have lots of different things I could do. Obviously, I have Titan 5, and I have regular PC where I can look up stats on the internet. And then we have a Google Earth machine that's further to the right, and then Viz machines where we can load up other types of graphics. So all kinds of stuff that can be pulled up back here. People think I th I th people now think we're a lot more sophisticated I than, so. than maybe we've ever pulled off. And Jessica, by the way, hates to be on camera. camera. So we thank made you, Jessica. Her be on camera today. We, She's we like, oh no, get that it. thing <laughs> off of me. <laughs> but no. she mentioned Viz, which is something else that I want to talk about. Thanks for that, Jess. Viz no is problem. a actual another system that we use to show you graphics as well. And maybe we can pop up one of our Viz graphics. That's a lot of time where we show you the. All right, here's Viz 500. This is actually my. Uh, my I'm you have Viz 500. Because I have there control of this one there now. You so you I'm going to press the that. button. It'll take you right into the Northeast. We'll be talking about melting snow coming up a little bit later in the show. I'll give you a little preview, though. 97.4% of the Northeast was covered in snow this time last right. week. What about this week? We're going to let you know. Come yeah, on. and Mike uses Viz 500, Titan 2. I use Viz 600 and Titan 3. Everyone has different Viz's Everyone's and completely confused right now. I know. <laughs> All right, right, thanks for your questions. Keep them coming. Still to come on the show tonight, we're going to talk a lot more about the system coming into the West, but before we leave you, our weather-ready question for the night. And the question was, allowing air to flow freely in all our rooms conserves heat in your home better than closing off unused rooms. True or false? Well, here's how you voted. Here's how the answer is. The answer is false. False. If you want to conserve energy this winter, keep the doors to unused rooms closed. Your heater will work more efficiently, and the warmth will be constantly concentrated in the rooms that you spend your time in. Hey Jess!